So okay. he's here and then... Uh, How you been doing, Bruce? All right. You look good. You've yeah. been losing weight? I'm trying. You look good. Oh, well, there he is. He's down there carrying his tripod. And then he's... Uh, Hey, what kind of um, bearing grease do I need to put in this tripod? Boy, where's it squeaking? It's, it's, it, you know how smooth it was before? Well, it's, it's creaking right now when I when I go to move it slow. How about like a little WD-40? No, because it would eat the plastic. Remember, this is all PVC plastic. It won't eat plastic. The silicon, dude. Yeah. WD-40 won't. You sure? Yeah, yeah that's what I use. WD-40. It won't. It won't eat the plastic up. See how it's jerking a little bit? Just noise the hell out of me. Is it up here or is it down here? Right here. Right here. I would just take some i take some WD forty. Right. This is probably way too I mean I'd probably get it apart by probably never get back together. Or some if if you have the time and effort to split them apart, probably just like some lithium grease would put in there. But that's I what I thought and I, I I couldn't figure I don't want to damage it because it's <clears throat> that's why I would do that's why I would do WD forty in there. Okay, W4, okay, we'll do. Thank you. Yep. I have a pro model when it's all metal, but it's just... Oh, nice hit. Oh, we're playing better today. Next weekend, all the scouts are going to be there, so we're... Uh... Bishop Foley's probably one of the best teams we've seen as far as Catholic schools, and uh, they're really good. Obviously, obviously, Brother Rice is the best. Right. Until they lose more than twice in the state in a single season, they are still the best. <laughs> I saw them brutalize Clarkston. It was crazy. In the playoffs, did you watch it? Nice hit. Yeah, this is uh, this is my son's second sport, so I don't, don't pay as much attention. What sport does he play? He's a uh, ice hockey. He's a goalie. Oh, okay, that's a good sport. Oh, we, didn't, we didn't let him play goalie here. Though. So uh, he's number fifty-seven right there. He's a uh, six foot two. He's uh he's actually slow because he, um, he sits he sits wide all in the net all the time, and, but. When I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find him out there while I'm trying to look through my tiny viewfinder. It's the only thing about the can. Every away stadium we're on against the sun coming. What a bike either, because I was like, where the heck is that? Uh, so I came over here and I said, and then the guy invited me up. He said, yeah, I just got a block from the sun because I was in this walkway. I said, oh yeah, that's shaded right there. Oh yeah, for varsity Sweet. football, we wouldn't even let you up here. Yeah. For lacrosse and other sports, since I'm the guy up here, I'm the guy up here. I don't like kids up here. That's the one thing I don't like up here. Yeah. I just need to bring cardboard with you and tape the cardboard right on top of it. So you are And then it was uh, our United team. Right. Same so, thing with your hockey team, too. Yeah, yeah. So now they're going to break off. Yeah. So now those... See now, Stony was the single hockey uh, school. We were the single hockey, and then they shared a hockey team. Now they they split up two now, so everybody's going to have their own hockey team now. They think. They will. And then lacrosse. I got an older son too, who's a junior. This year, their first year. So yeah, we we played at Orchard Lake a lot of times. We played the track teams over there. It's, The hockey coach says it's expensive as heck and they give him no practice time. All right. Number 20, great ball. Yeah, that's a rookie goalie he hasn't played to the play with, but we haven't scored in two games. It's okay, we lost. We, we're, we beat Wald Lake Western, which was our next nemesis, and then the varsity lost by one, which we've never lost to him in five years, so. And that's our old, that's our old lacrosse coach over there. Oh, okay. He's a nice guy. He started our program. <coughs> Dude, 
Your own shots. Right there. Shot right there. Sidearm it. And you, yeah, you throw it down and let it bounce right before the goalie. <laughs> they, they don't know that yet. They'll go, they'll go high. Yeah, but you're doing the right thing by teaching them. Like, Mike, when you, when you shoot, pull it back all the way and shoot because uh, velocity beats uh, precision every time. And especially when you got a little tiny ball you're trying to keep out of a giant net. Ooh, nice takedown. You play with the white balance on the camera, then you're good. I had offered to do this, and then in my first game, I'm like, hey, I usually pull my glasses up and look to the viewfinder, or I, I match it with my nose, like roughly where the parameter is. I have a wide angle on and said, okay, I'll get, I'll get them to draw you a bit. I try to get kind of close where the kids can see it. You can still see the plays. Oh, okay. I mean, it's HD, so when I, I publish all these on YouTube. And, and if you hit the HD, these are all full 1080p. And the parents can download them if they want. So I can avoid making copies. Yeah. Then I can show him how to download it and I'll be like the biggest god among some of those guys. Exactly. Because I, I, I film every day, every full JV on varsity for hockey. We don't have a JV, we could have had a JV this year. Trister Ball. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's, a, it's, it's an expensive score. Yeah. Even us this year with the cross. Where'd you play? I didn't. I didn't play. My both my boys. I don't know my both my boys got it. I mean, we just been since they learned to skate. We've been in travel hockey. We just played, you know, double A travel, not triple A. I didn't want to go higher to that expense. So, so I'm used to five thousand dollars a kid. <laughs> See, he scored. Good. Score! They gotta come forward. Because a lot of them will back up and it's like, you don't wait for the bounce, you get up before the bounce. Right. It's easier said than he killed us. He was the only player that, he, he didn't, when they, when they played Brother Rice the following week, he was the only one that crossed ever with the ball. And he says, and it was on our, and she was, unfortunately, it was on our side of field the entire game. Once it was a face off, they won every face off. My son would go down to the 40, get killed, but there was nobody there to back him up. Right. And so Brother Rice would take it up. So he'd be like a ping pong ball out there, the paddles. And he was a big kid, I mean, solid. Yeah. I love wrestling. It's my favorite sport to watch. March Madness is cool to watch. But last year when, when uh, the Stafford show was up, and it was a great show. But when it comes to hockey, NHL is just the okay. best hockey on the planet. I mean, so you got the Canadians, the Russians, the Swedes. And what's funny is the ranking of the tie game. I mean, it's bad. Yeah. Well, they turned it into too much entertainment. 
Monday night game when they were coming off of that 5-0. And, and, and they won. Undefeated and they won. That place was the loudest I've ever had. I was there when the Titans, for the, for the Thanksgiving Day game, uh -huh. when the Titans were there. I called the game 45-10 in favor of Titans. Everybody booed me in my section. But we left before halftime, and the guys, they all clapped up, said, you called it. you bet any money on that game? No. Sucker. It was 47-10 in favor oh, of ten, Tennessee. Oh. Yeah. I, so I nearly called it right on the dot. Yeah. So I think everybody does it this long way. Is that your wife screaming down there? No. Oh, we're only. Oh, so it's two to three. Yeah. Yeah. So much easier to use on the for my for what I do. The SD cards take up so much freaking space. They do. That's why I was looking at upgrading, but I said, you know what? You can I've get seen guys run out of run out of tapes, and you know, because they'll buy the nice small one HD, and it's already on there. But then he can't finish the game. I'm like, well, you know, my tape, I can at least finish the game. It's not ultra convenient because I just load it into into one to get it back onto a hard drive. Get a DVD, but you know. Well, no, I, this one here is a tape, it's a tape deck, and I, I like it better than the SD, because the SD, a typical 60-minute game on an SD card is like 70 gigabytes. A typical 60-minute game on a tape in better quality is is virtually um, 11 gig. So it's a huge savings and it's wow. uncompressed, yeah. I got an SD, I got an SD, uh, eight bleed out the moon. Hey, uh, hey, Emily. Megan's got her first uh, AAU game tonight. Yeah. Twenty-three. Let's watch this for the No, it's Stony Creek. It's Stony Creek. If you have a game out there, you will go downtown because it's, yeah. clo it's closed for construction. Oh, so you got to so I have to get the alternative route, which I have no idea. So how's your, how's your stage? You're becoming quite the stud there, disc ch champion. No, I'm not at all. My first meet went well. Like, got first, one on one, whatever. And then I... And then... And I... Good job by Hunter. Hunter grew a lot, man. He was such a teeny tiny kid. I know. Now he needs, to, he needs to walk up. Does he play hockey at all? He's in college football without an ACL. Oh yeah. He might have a, he might have a girlfriend though, so he's a. Oh, okay. I know, and she's actually cute. What? <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, the guys are. And he's such a gentleman that a couple of the guys were saying some stuff, and and Nick's really when it comes to that really a gentleman. Yeah. And they're like, hey Nick, what are you gonna do? And he goes, just shut up. I go, I mean it. I'm gonna hit you if you don't <laughs> shut up. I mean, he's 265 at 6'1", and he bench presses a truck. I'm willing to bet he could hurt somebody if he hit him. <laughs> and you know he's got a pain threshold. He's, he played all through last season without it. He, did, he thought his ACL might have came loose in, in the game, yeah. but he tweaked it in. Yeah. But he was able to rehab it back and finish off the season as a starter. I can't believe that, like, the scar tissue just, like, whoa. It's like, it's like, wow, we're getting smoked. Yeah. What, what are we saying now? Off their head. <laughs> Man. <laughs> remember the joke from that Vince? Was the thing. When Vince Alessi was up here in the press box, that wasn't it. Me, it was hilarious. It was, it was and we, you, we, Vince Alessi, and then my dad. And we didn't have the mic on the camera, so we can't say oh stuff now because we're micing this. But we had so much fun with all the terminology. Why isn't Nick Alessi playing? Well, he has a girlfriend and probably has terrible grades. We're micing this. Sorry. You're not like saying anything. Well, I said we're miking. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Megan's Megan's got two players on her team. One of them's a freshman. Mm -hmm. um, you know she's in the running for um, best winner athlete. Yep, she should be. And then Ross, I think Ross well, is winning right now. Oh yeah, because Ross took state. I mean, how can you not? I come to perform. I, I don't run. That was a great grab by that kid. 
Ooh. That was a nice shot. That was a nice block. There's your boy, pounding it home. Gotta learn to hit somebody harder there with that size. No, Northern, they were huge. I wouldn't want to hit those kids, they're big. My cousin said that it's the biggest team he's had ever. Oh my for Lord. something, so they're a bunch of studs. And the one guy that was next to me, his son got a, um, he went, he's going to Eastern Michigan to wrestle. Which Eastern isn't a really good team in wrestling, but still, but I mean, so, it's a D1 you, wrestling. Yeah, I was gonna say. He held him. You got to hit him. Johnny was doing the uh, linebacker hold. Yeah. And he ducked. Did he just wimp out? I think I just saw Hubley wimp out. He ducked. Oh. Nice block. Good job. Same guy. He's learning how to play go now. Do you know his name? No. I don't have a roster for the, no one's giving me a roster for the JV for the play-by-play. -play. That's a shot. You're grounded! My son's got two goals. It's fine, he can eat tonight. You gotta get one of, you gotta get one of these um, LAMP remote controls. Fourteen. Oh, I, love like slash yeah, I don't like eBay. eBay, I buy everybody dumps their garbage. Right. Oh! Nice. What a save. That was a great save. Right there. Wide open shot. Wide open. Wide open shot. Take it. Nice. Chandler's on this team now? Yeah, he got moved down on Wednesday. So he could play more? Uh, that's what I told him. Yeah, he's just what he should do. Because I was like, would you rather stay on this team or play? Number 33, Tom Lyon. And it's not like Ed doesn't love the kid. The kid. Mm -hmm. Number 8, is that him right there? Mm -hmm. This is our, our Peter High School. Oh, 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 oh. They're good at basketball. Hey, everybody goes to Brother Rice. Catholic Central, yeah, Detroit Country Day, St. Mary's. Yeah, St. Mary's, and then you can get, uh, and Notre Dame will give you something when you can't. It's still available, as we say. Someone likes pinball. It's a pinball. He's a pinball wizard. Who sang that song? Who sang that song? Pinball wizard? The who? Shot what I do is I'm glad it's black because I just paint the whole thing. You can't even tell. Now I got to now I got to cut the metal off and weld it back on there. And like last night, I, um, I had to drive mom and dad home from the wine tasting, and I swear, like, oh, we were on the freeway and I thought it was gonna explode. Like, <laughs> my whole front end's got to get fit. My whole front end's jumping. Off. I got to. It's gonna eighty dollars in parts or forty dollars if I if my buddy who owns a, a, a business will buy it for me. Uh -huh. And it's like five minutes to fix, but then I got to pay for a front end alignment. But the whole front end is just. Bouncing around. Yeah. It scares the heck out of me. I know, it's scary. And one of his, his bad right wheel makes the weirdest noise when you like when you, when you start to pick up the speed. And it's really just scary. It's like, is the car gonna blow up? Or... You never know because your dad always has blown up cars. Exactly. Head gas it's blown. I know. And my mom, I love my mom's stable. And like Dan took it up, so He's going to be home soon, so that's like the main thing I'm excited about, is getting the same back. Yeah, Nicholas comes back I think in three or four weeks, right? Everybody comes back? Something like that. Good job. The goalie's really, uh, this goalie's bailing us out big time. Good block with the stick, man. That was like ninja block. Oh, that was a good catch. Time out. Time out, Rochester. 
How's the tracking looking, Shirley? But wait till the kids figure out they can grow poppy seeds in their backyard and not get in trouble. Right? Now they gotta ferment it. Gotta stop looking and just give it up. Right? Come on, Ted. Number 20. I think this is what. Well. Yeah, Greco scored the first goal. Come on, Greco. There he goes. He used to wrestle, didn't he? Yeah, he, he grew too tall. He wasn't gonna get his starting position. He was gonna have to go back to JV. So he focused on lacrosse, which is good because he's actually a really good lacrosse player. I think if I put some size on. Yeah. Just hover. Hit somebody, hover. There you go. Oh, he let him go. That was on the line. I, know. <laughs> I was like when the referees realized that it's a pretty evenly matched bad lacrosse team, and they they take their time to. Yeah. I mean, they're letting. It's not bad. It's just that a lot of youth out here. They're doing a great job of not calling too many yeah. stupid stuff. Like when he was on the line, was it really necessary to blow the whistle? No. <laughs> not really. My vacations, I always got this tripod with me. It's smart. When I go for bike rides, I put it in my backpack <laughs> and I go trust chest. Yeah. I, I do because I like to stop off and take really good video, especially if I see something really pretty. Right. Carrie and I got, you should go to our Facebook and see some of the outside shots we took during the fog. Yeah. Oh my God, they're like beautiful. I mean, simply oh, I gorgeous. I gotta figure out how to. I gotta figure out how to put this in a. Because I want to take these ca this camera and the other one on the road with me. But I figure out how to hook them up to my bike. So when I go mountain biking, mm -hmm. they stay protected. Yeah. That's way over. Microsoft uh, CRM XRM platform. Okay. Go go go! Come on, you can outrun them. Oh my. It's tough. I run my own video editing business. If I was in any other state, it would be totally different. Yeah, it's. Um, Michigan's the hardest state to do this stuff in. Well, and that's a nice thing for us nowadays is we can do everything video conferencing from our offices. So there's not as much travel. So we, the majority of our clients are uh, are in the state of Michigan. My cousin works in robotics and works with all the companies. I said, so how long are you going to be in the state of Michigan? He said, oh, no, we're not staying in Michigan. He said, everything they do here is fake. He says, everything is in California, Tennessee, Texas. He says, that's where all the computer stuff is right. for robotics, for, for the businesses. He goes, I mean cities. <laughs> North Carolina is like that, popping. I went for some uh, training down in uh, Texas. Beautiful place. Oh, yeah. Hotter than Moser, though. Yeah. The Apple facilities, and I mean, we, we went down the industrial park. Yep. One right after another was computer full. Company, computer company, computer company. And it was all full, too. Yeah. And the people are very friendly. I don't know, I don't want to say it was San Antonio, but it was, um, where's, uh, no, it was Austin. They have, uh, I think they have their uh, college there. Ooh, nice catch. Sam Houston? Oh. In which cow, which cow can handle the heat. I don't believe it would be responsible citizens, but it's not the problem. Right. I think I think there's enough what I what I don't like is that good science gets ruined by idiots like Gore yeah. who overinflate the situation for well, monetary reasons. Oh yeah. It's like, dude, once yeah. people figure out you're full of crap, they stop and, listening. And then, you know, you speak just like you know, more on a full side of your mouth. You're living in a 16,000 square foot house with seven air conditioners. I mean, you're taking in more energy than a whole block in the city. All for money. Good job, Hubbard. Hit him, hit him, hit him!
you guys had a really good season for wrestling this year. Whoa, he, broke the, yeah. he broke the school record. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he won the first. I think he. Yeah, because we had so much um, the girls basketball went to regionals. The yep, you guys were cheerleaders. You, you had that six foot one team. girl that was good. Her arm length had to be like seven feet tall. She was actually good in warm ups. I didn't take her seriously. You get her in the game, she's got like that 15 wide open shot. Yeah. Can't block it. She just goes right up in the air with it, arms fully extended. And, it, and she just looks relaxed when she shoots it. You got a nice facility, too. Yeah, we, we, we like it. I live in the subdivision right next to the school. We love it. How many students say house here? 1800. Okay. I think they said we, I think there's a basement, but we don't have classrooms in the basement. Okay. That whole top levels brand is new the last 10 years. I used to go to school here, it was just the bottom level. Yeah, see, we're maxed out in the big building that we got. Don't you Let's see, what are we pushing? Um, yeah, we can't, we can fit maybe 18, 1900. We're maxed already. Freshman class is the biggest. Every year, my, my son's graduating class was 400 last year. Okay. Yeah. And then of course, Adam's here. It's, uh, it's building programs. Yeah, it does. That's what we just we just lack of is we got the kids and we got the money, but because they're it's I mean some of the farm communities people make fun of like Dakota, yeah. they come in like gangbusters because you got all these farm kids that are, that are they want to play, yeah. they get success and everybody's assuming they're going to win and they wind up like losing so it's like oh we blow it's like wait you have to work at it man. Rod Rochester can be really good. They usually have one or two talented really talented kids on the football team. Here goes nice shot and yeah. goal. Ooh. Yeah, we had to fire our. Uh... Our, our, um, varsity head coach. Football? Why was that? Because you guys played so much. Yeah, we. That has to be a sweet gig. Oh, he was wide open. You guys had this for almost four minutes. Oh, excuse me, almost three minutes. Yeah. Nice tap. That was a nice try. One of them forms like a ball. There's three types right. he has. One forms a complete ball. And as soon as he saw, as soon as it saw him, he merely went to his back and was kicking his legs up, trying to get him to rub his belly. And it was making this little whining sound. It was adorable. No he, so he's him and I have been texting or ta talking because he's 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 already on the road moving, and I've got to set my gig back up again. And uh, that's how I knew about the lightning strikes and all this new stuff. He's been like, hey, did you see they just found a 50 foot um, boa fossilized around a, around a nest? 50 foot. I don't think it could have moved too fast because yeah. snakes, when they get to be certain sizes, they just don't have the 
the tendons and stuff to move that much muscle. They don't have diaphragms, that makes it... Texting back and forth, hey, did you hear about this flash fire idea? He goes, it... with, the, with the green car movement, I was saying we should go back to hydrogen, and people are thinking that you know hydrogen can be a bomb. I go, no, no, when hydrogen blows, it blows high. It blows quickly. It's like propane. It's, you know, heinous flash. And people bring up the Hindenburg, and I'm like, dude, that was because of the, um, the, the fabric they were using. Sorry, I talk your ear off. I've been on a computer screen all day. I'm sure you know what that's like. Yeah. Um, 4.32 to go in the third quarter. It's 3 to 8 in favor of the guest, Stony Creek Cougars. Shot. Predators would be your, would be like a new rivalry versus the Avalanche. They play us tougher than a lot of, than a lot of the teams. Well, the Red Wings have the worst schedule in the NHL. Yeah. They, there was a guy I used to interview for this, this um, blog site I used to work for, and uh, he was, uh, his name was Hula, and he actually ran the fan blog for the Detroit Red Wings, so I got to interview him all the time. He started going out for more than half our games. Right. And we're not only on the road, but we're across country because they put us in right. a crazy conference. Right. Yeah, we played in that East Coast. We traveled like uh, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia and those boys and New York. Would, uh, it'd be totally different, but they don't see we don't they don't want it because that's what we draw so many fans out in the West Coast. Well, we have to win another championship for us to keep that that. Um, we haven't won a championship what in eight years? Or is it? Oh, it's less than that because he um, Babcock won it what five years ago? Yeah. We're gonna say four four. Um, Players and we still win. Yep. About 21 years in the playoffs, longest in professional history. I remember when they were bad. I remember when I was the yeah. only one in the stadium. We were in TV and my friend called me and goes, I think I just saw you on TV. I go, really? He goes, you had Skittles and a red jacket. I said, yeah, that was me. He said, yeah, they, they zoomed in on you and your mother. I go, yeah, shut up. Leave that mother part off. We used to get free, t remember that back in the day, you get free tickets. Yeah. I went there to watch Edmonton Oilers just I mean, that was sold out. When Edmonton showed up, or the Canadian, yeah. they were good, and we were lousy. Oh, my God. That's when Probert was... People talk about the Probert years. Those were bad hockey years with Probert. You know, remember the drunk... Yeah. That, you know, but a, lot of, a lot of good stories. And, and how about those Tigers this year? Gonna, wow. Dude, I just love the fact... What I love the fact is Verlander is so... He doesn't, he's not he's bad. Smooth. I'll be honest with you, I was watching the Tigers and I was watching the Tigers in the playoffs. It was fun. Yeah. It was exciting. Yeah. And the great thing about, tight, about baseball is there game, there's almost a game on every freaking day. There and, is. And it's not like an endurance sport. It's not. You could, I'm surprised we don't have triple headers. That would be like, can you imagine that? Starting at 10 o'clock in the morning and go all the way until 9 o'clock at night. That would be a dream come true, wouldn't it? Yeah. As long as somebody else drove and paid for the beers. Yeah. When I go there, I don't eat. I bring bottled water with me all the time.
Turn that thing in the pocket, son. Turn your wrist harder. Turn it harder. Good job, 19. Keep turning it. Someone's got a cut for you. Nice save. Your son's wide open if he gets a shot. Oh, 17. Um, Pro seal yet? No. They're usually pretty good every year. Because I was going to say, we really didn't have too much of a, too much of a tough team. We just lost that game. Um, then we had. Um, they were. They're okay. They're okay. Um, we played at Huron uh, Valley. They're usually pretty good. They were, they were, I didn't go to that game. It was, you know, during a weeknight, Tuesday night. And I'm like, oh, I'll just stay home. So we got smoked there. And then really, um, if I had to say, I had to say that Troy was, uh, Troy was probably the best. But no standouts because we were so far down. That's right. Because all it is is, is uh, eye, eye hand coordination. Once you get that ball down, it's money. There's a kid at Wald Lake Central that I do video work for, and he's 6'2, 195 pounds, and he's ripped 6'3, 6'4 now because he was growing. We educate so much, and then when you go to your visitors, you know, there's, there's five, bucks there's five bucks a fee. Five bucks a fee, man. It's like, man, we got to. And besides hockey, we're going to it's expensive. I had one of the parents I'm friends with. Son plays football and he had to play lacrosse. And she started complaining about how much. Then she got on the, you know, got that website now that you pay for everything. She accidentally got on the hockey page and saw that dollar and she says. I'm not going to complain. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop complaining. <laughs> he said, please do. Cause... Well, if we were down south, I mean, the coaches down there get paid. Because a lot of your coaches put in almost 60 hours and they're getting paid like five grand a season. Yeah. You don't realize how many Saturdays and Sundays is just dedicated to watching film, especially if the coach knows what he's doing. Yeah. And, you know, at one time a coaching position was a nice co a nice position, especially if you won. Nowadays, it's like everybody's comp all the teachers are complaining, and it's like, dude, you know, it's like dealing. And like Izzo said this morning, he was on WJR. It's like they're managing those guys because there's Facebook and cameras everywhere nowadays. Kids are no different than they were before. Block in the back. Crackle, Will Crackle. Come on, Will. Spin it in your, spin it, spin it. Spin inside, get inside. Stony Creek number seven. Penalty. One second on my mic. Yeah, I can't answer. I don't know that. And that's it. I have issues. With. I, mean, I understand that you might have to do that because you can't get enough or whatever, but, you know. You're... You're not successful unless you win a championship, and some exactly. even though they some of their sports are lousy, but their right. but their main sport, whatever that is, is good. Right. Like Detroit Country Day, they win a lot in almost all their sports. Right. Catholic Central is the same way. Like Harrison touts all their championships, but that's in one sport. Catholic Central's got 
you know, it's quadruples their championships because wrestling. Um, That's the only thing is. Right? I mean, it gives kids a lot, a lot of kids the opportunity to play, which they do enjoy, but. I mean, they offer stuff to kids all the time. He gets his grades well. I mean. Yeah, see, his grades are there. I mean, he's carrying a 3 8. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. And Alma just started, if, if he wants to go pre-med, Alma just has a lacrosse team now. They had a, they had a, had a varsity lacrosse to their program, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, I got the work right now on my computer. I just look at the kid's number. Stony Creek 33, one minute. I think he's trying to keep the perspective of just a, a student athlete game. The athletic director just watched that stuff. Ours down there stairs right now. He's going to have a conversation with the coach about what number two just did. Right, like they said, you know, yeah. you got some stars, you know what? Just because you're a star. Our head coach was uh, played in Toledo football. If I wasn't doing this, I'd be working on those projects trying to clean, finish yeah. those stuff up. I like, I like the fact that we're fighting though. I like the lacrosse, the lacrosse is it's like hockey. You want the kids to rough. No dirty shots. I don't think anybody deserves to hurt to, to try to, but knocking the guy down on the ground, smack him on his leg. I don't want to see anybody permanently get injured, but definitely. How long have you owned your cannon? Um, probably about uh, six years. And I think it, this one four years ago. I got it. The, uh, I was doing some work for the NFL, so I went and got it because they're doing a quarterback drill camp with Sam Weiss, which I love. You know who he is? Yep, yep. They had Craig Johnson from Tennessee, then Ken Kircher played behind John Elway at Denver, and he's he's the quarterback coach at Eastern Michigan. So I picked this up to uh, help me out with that, and it was awesome. No, um, I totally homered up on, on Sam Weiss, I'll be honest yeah. with you. I was like, dude, you're one of my favorite coaches. I moved to Ohio because of you. Then he goes, then I got fired, right? Where, where did you coach? Cincinnati. Cincinnati that's what I, thought. I moved down to Columbus, Ohio for a job that popped up out of the blue, and I was like, God, that's like two hours away. Brown died, and his son took over the program. And Sam was a coach's, a coach's uh, coach. Hello. So him and Welch, Welch loved him, and then uh, the job opened up soon after that because you saw what happened with Joe Montana. He went to Cincinnati, rebuilt yeah. that whole program. I mean, 
I always liked how Boomer played, but it was all Sam Weiss. Yeah. <laughs> I love the legendary battles with, with the Browns in Pittsburgh. You always wish your, your quarterbacks could last forever, you know? Oh, absolutely. Like, New, e New England's been blessed by having a truly terrific coach. I mean, you think of people dogged uh, Brady this year for not winning the Super Bowl. Like, dude, 57 seconds, and if his player just caught the football, they would have won a Super right. Bowl in 57 seconds. That would have been the biggest upset, and that would have been the biggest comeback in Super Bowl history. The only one that came close was Joe Montana, and Joe had three minutes to go down the field. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a huge uh, New England fan because of coaching. When they got busted for like Spygate, yeah, I was yeah, like, that's a know. joke. Everybody's doing Everything. it. Everybody's doing everything as long as you don't get caught. But the thing and, is, is that. Don't do stupidity. No. Like that with that Williams, Bill Parcells head. You don't want to know about. You got to take the fall. And, and his audio tape and video tape that they did from they someone taped it wasn't a really smart idea. Like right. you're not assuming someone's going to see it. Right. So I'm assuming someone in New Orleans really ticked off somebody. The problem is there's so many cameras and everything. And you Tight. This, you know, yeah, but I think the, I think the athletes now they'll get away with a lot more than they oh, yeah. a lot more, and it's not because of the cameras. I mean, you think about Urban, what Urban Myers did to Florida, thirty, I think it was up to thirty-five felony arrests in his program right. for his football players. Yep. And, and everything from domestic violence to drug possession. They just kicked a kid out of the program. I'm like, dude, it had to be pretty bad to get kicked out of Florida's program. He had to do a lot more than just that. And At a place where there's very lenient on rules, Ohio well, State. Well, well yeah. At a, at, no, at a place that they have to recover from the last guy that, you know, I trust He's, he, heard he, heard he, he, he was a good guy, but you know what? He was dirty as hell. We took exactly. It. Youngstown, he was dirty. Right. So we have a doctor friend for me. He had like 10 championships and they were all bought. Yeah. They, they were all store bought. Oh. oh, yeah. Stunny Creek Ball. Baldwin Walsh was recruiting my son for wrestling really big. Was that right? Yeah, and we said we were going to go to Alma because, and they're like, the guy was really kind of dicky with us. And I'm like, well, dude, we're being honest with you, man. I mean, we were there, we saw what you had, we left before the whole program because you guys started talking about theater and presentation and acting. And he wants to go into pre med and pre vet yeah. and glee club. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't interest us at all. I'm, I asked, I, I literally turned to my son, he said, do you want to stay? And he goes, Dad, if it was my choice, I'd leave right now. Let's go get something to eat. Yeah, I just had to see that conversation with my wife. We're going to visit uh, University of Illinois on Monday. For your son? Junior. Yeah. For this one or your older no, one? No, my older one. Does he play a sport? Uh, yeah, he's a, he's ice hockey. He's oh. a defensive guy. He's going to play in college? Yeah, but maybe club. Um, good enough, I mean, he's... He's got the size and he's got the talent, but just, I mean, like you said, hockey's the worst sport because even... The sum, it's basically because you could be you in virtually get, on a semi-pro team. Yeah, well, you got to either go to juniors or you got to go, go to high school. You know, Sidney Crosby or a super stud. Those guys are recruited at nine years old, going to boarding schools and, you know, coming from a different country. I'm a Danny Kelly, even though I agree with it. 